Hey, hello friends. Welcome to our channel, SAPSD and the web link support. So in last two sessions, we discussed about the body implementation in case of sales document approvals and in case of reason for rejection scenarios. Today we'll see about how to configure the workflow in the app called Manage Sales Document Workflows. Right, so in this app only we should specify the conditions like in which conditions this workflow should trigger. So in the body also we added some logic for example for sales is 1010 distribution channel is 20 so in those cases we are setting the approval request reason so this is the logic required to set the approval request reason right and the logic or conditions what we are going to add in the app manage sales document workflows is used to trigger the workflow and it will eventually send a notification to the approver in the my inbox app right so here we have you see when i open the app i can see the workflows drop down i can see right here we have multiple options workflows for create more request is obsolete no need to use this one and the next one is workflow for sales order and workflow for credit memory request, workflow for sales quotation. So here we have our options, two options, add and define order. Now I will go and create the workflow for sales orders. Now I click add now. So here we need to provide the workflow name and description also we need to add description is not mandatory field but the workflow name is mandatory we should enter some text here so if you think that you want to activate this workflow for a particular period like one month next month till today date it should work or it will work for two weeks three weeks or one year then we can define that uh, when this workflow should start we can define that valid from and valid to as well you can go ahead without defining the validity period and you see here the start conditions and it is called the pre conditions so in order to trigger the workflows this pre condition should satisfied for example i am going to add one condition here like sales order type it should be ZFP, right? Or I can add OR standard order. And you see, I have I can add one more condition here and condition. I can add customer group of sales order. And I can click this icon to get the list of values. So like this, I can add n number of conditions here. That means sales order type should be OR and customer group of the sales order is 01. So both should satisfy. Then only this workflow will go to next level. If any one of the conditions are satisfied, means this workflow will be ignored. Right? And here we can see one more option, add alternative precondition. If I click this one, so this can R condition. So this is one precondition, this is one precondition. So here also I can have n number of conditions here. So if this is satisfied, it will go further. If uh, not satisfied, means it will check the alternative precondition steps here. So inside one precondition steps, all are and condition. 
okay under one precondition all the conditions are and only everything should satisfy and this is our condition i can add like this n number of preconditions right this is one thing and here we have the step sequence here only we need to specify the approver right if you go for interview also they might ask you where you defined the approvers right then that should be configured in the app manage sales document approvers under the step sequence section i could click add here and step name is optional if you want we can add it or you can leave it and step type we have two kind of step type here one is release of sales order and the second one is rework of sales order so whenever we send a request for an approval the approver will receive notification in the my inbox app in the my inbox app the approver can see for an order approval rework and reject so the rework option will come automatically to the approver that means defining a step with the rework option so is not required at all and it's recommended by sap as well and you might ask then why we have this rework of sales orders given here then that should be answered by sap only fine so let's go ahead with rework of sales order now and here is the recipients who will get the notification to approve the request so here we have two options under the assignment by either by either by the role or either by the user if you want to go with the role means then we need to configure one more app that is manage teams and responsibilities this one more app is available so in that app we need to define that uh, different roles and the reach every role who should configure the approvers right that's one thing if i don't want to go with the role then i can simply go with the user and coming to user for this user we should create the employee in the pa30 transaction code then for that employee we should create one bp customer as well right then only that will be displayed here anyways that part of the creation of that employee in pa30 and configuring the bp transaction code i will this i will let you know or we can discuss in upcoming sessions today we will go through about this app entirely okay if i select user means i will get the we need to set the username here for example if i give one id here okay and then i click okay so now the request will be sent to the inbox of this particular user and here you see step to be completed by one of the recipients or all of the recipients in any cases if this request should be approved by more than one approvers right then we can have more approvers and if all of them is to approve it means then we can mention all of the recipients that means all the approvers should approve the request if one is approved other one should approve means this is incomplete approval request everyone needs to approve it so i'll specify as of now as one of the recipients now we have one more condition raised inside this step okay so here we can define the logic again what what based on the step condition this workflow should trigger that's a pre what we this is defined in the initially of the trap is that pre conditions this is step condition right i can mention that order reason should be something here right i can add the order reasons and i same thing here also we have add alternative pre conditions okay here we have one more important configuration 
that is deadlines if you click add here okay so if step is not completed by the workflow started right workflow started but step not completed yet then we can uh, mention the time here what's the time limit that should system should uh, make it as an email notification or step as a you see workflow request has been sent to the approver but approver hasn't taken any action at all right then here we need to specify time here like for example i will say as four hours i will give you the four hours time for the i am giving the four hours time for that approver to approve it if he hasn't the user hasn't approved it within four hours then i have two options to perform your actions right either i mark the step as in overdue in that my inbox app or i can send a mail notification to the user so here we have two options right workflow or step and in case of send mail notifications we have one more options we'll get again here also we have that assignment by row right keep it as a processor of the task or you can mention the user again user means we should specify the user again but the but the thing is that we should specify the role only here whoever received that approval request they will receive this again notification as well right if you create means one email will be triggered if the workflow started after four hours no action taken means they will send get the notification and exception handling right okay so in case of reaper rework requested do nothing so if that approver says that rework requested means then no need actions means do nothing we can mention and restart workflow we can keep it here but whenever the rework is requested definitely the reverse should be done in the sales order right that's the meaning of this workflow setup if they requested a rework but the user saying that not required means it's not a valid workflow scenario right so we need to set the rework of sales order and here we need to reset the workflow again if they send for rework then the rework is done means the workflow starts again and if we click add this step will be added okay so let me add one uh, approval reason and i will click add you see step has been added so like this i can add n number of step here for every step i can have the different approvers recipients you see the first step is works based on the order reason 01 001 i can define one more step for 002 for 002 that step that request should go to different approver right so the pre condition this one this is the main condition inside this we have step condition also is there so like this we need to define and create the approvers okay this is important step the body and this one the body is used to set the approval request reasons or uh, setting the reason for rejection and this workflow is used to look for the approvers based on the step and the preconditions okay that's it from this video friends if you have any queries or concerns means you can reach out to me in the comment section we can have a healthy discussion on this one thank you now bye for now